This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We are working on the steps to connection, and as you can see, she's already taken off from the canter. Whoop! When she breaks gate, ask her for the steps to connection. Slow down the steps of the trot before you canter now. So the thing that's going to be different now where she's where you're training her to stay connected is you're going to slow down the steps of the canter trot before she canters so she's in a different balance. That's right, because she would like to just take off in the canter. That's right, but that's what you're teaching her now. She said she does not want to canter with her head down, but that's normal for that's normal for a horse going from green horse balance into you know more of a more balance. That was nice, Trudy. Okay, now you're gonna soften her jaw, soften her pole, soften her neck, and bring her to a can to a trot. Slow down the outside rein. Slow down the outside rein. Soften her. Soften her. Quicker. There, there, there. Good, good. Play with her. Good, good. Praise her. Change directions and try it on the other lead. That's very nice. Now you're starting to also understand what I'm saying when I say green horse is just a term for a horse learning how to balance, right? Yeah. Good. Whoop, whoop, whoop. She's not, she's not on the steps of connection. Soften her jaw. Slow her down. Soften her pole. She has to pick up her back before she canters. She's going to say she can't do it because it's still new to her. This might be the fifth time we've asked her to stay connected in the canter. That's right, soften her jaw. Very nice, soften her jaw, soften her pole. Good, soften her jaw. Try not to hang on that inside rein. That's where you're not softening her. Yep, soften her jaw, very good. That's it, that's it. Keep changing directions and changing leads. Good, you can use the whole ring if you want. That's right, soften her jaw before you turn on the outside rein and leg. So remember when you change directions, you've got to check that she's doing the steps to connection on your outside rein. Every change of direction, you first, whoop, whoop, steps to connection, slow down the trot. She's not going to know what it means. Very good, praise her. That's it, lateral movement. Slower. It's a new balance for her, so you're teaching her. Very nice, Trudy. It's all right. Yes, it's okay if at first she puts her nose up a little bit. She's not used to cantering from her back end. She's used to just doing a green horse canter. Lovely, lovely. What are you feeling different in your canter transition? I, I felt like it was nice, big, nice, low fish steps. That's right. But, but I don't know if lope is the right word. Well, it's a good word because she has a leap. Okay, leap. Let's she was in step. balance, right? It's a different, now you understand, what did the green horse balance feel like at the canter? Awful. That's right, they're disconnected and they're yeah, just throwing I you all mean, over. Yeah, your head's going everywhere and you feel like they're going to break at any minute. That's right, so now that you're going into training a horse and balance in the canter, you feel that they're more connected. Yep. And the steps have a little leap. She carries you different, doesn't she? <laughs> doing it. She can do it. She just doesn't like to do it right now. Well, it's because she's not used to it. This is the sixth time I think we've asked her to stay in balance at the canter. So she's not supposed to get it right yet, and I think she's doing a really good job. Do you want to do it a couple more times? Yeah, let me do it a couple more, and then I'm okay. sure Susan's ready to come in. So thank Take you. your time. Well, we've got plenty of time. Take your time. Now, everything's the preparation coming in and out. Great job, Trudy. Keep thinking steps to connection. You, Your goal is she wants to sit down, slow down the steps of the trot before you canter so she learns to sit down and stay soft to your steps of connection. So just keep checking. Yep, we expect that at that corner. Keep her feet moving. Keep her feet moving. Good. That's what she needs. Keep her feet moving. So that's where you're not going to ask for anything. You're just going to get through that corner. Loss of submission. Loss of submission. That's right. <laughs> and don't go into that corner. Go somewhere else. I'm going to cut it off. All right. Yeah. Because that would be the place you don't want to ask for a canter. Because she's, she's going to get it stuck there. So go somewhere else and ask for the lead. Don't ask for anything over there except to get through the corner. That way we can avoid the issue. That's it. Whoop. Too fast. Good. Good. Cut across the ring here. Use your outside rein and leg. Bring her to a trot. It's all right. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Change directions. You're going to pick up the opposite lead. Good. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. That's good. You feel it now. Trudy said she's going too fast. That's exactly right. 
too fast for her to stay in a balanced position. That's all it is. Very good. And as a green horse, she was allowed to run into the canter. But now we want her, yeah, feel the difference. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Praise her. Nice, Trudy. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. Change and go to the right. If you have enough energy, you might be running out of energy. Good. Soften her jaw. Soften her pole. That's right. Whenever you go in that corner, you just get her through it. And that way we never make it an issue. Good. Change directions. Ask for the lead the other way. All right. Take your time. Soften her jaw. Good, good. Good. Look between her ears. Yeah, it really keeps you honest with the front end, doesn't it? Good girl, Annie. I guess we'll 